identity cards, copies of driver licenses, bank account numbers, checkbooks and medical records. It did not take long to find those valuable documents at an auto junkyard. All of it tossed like trash inside vehicles that were sold or totaled. That trash now a treasure for identity thieves. Channel 2 Sarah Donchi reveals just how easy it was to find and how quickly criminals can go to work. Driver's license. Two separate auto junkyards. Enough information to potentially obtain the identities of seven different people, all who left their personal information behind after wrecking or selling their car. Social security numbers, copies of driver's licenses, even hospital discharge paperwork, all containing plenty of personal information. I just got some information for you that I found of yours that I wanted to return to you. That social security card and driver's license that we found belongs to this woman. I thought I figured that out. You left your pin numbers there. We're only identifying her as Keisha. She says she sold this Chevy Malibu more than eight months ago. In her car, we also found banking statements and account numbers detailing weeks of direct deposits and transfers. I Man, I've been messed up with IRS, like, for real, for real. Yeah. Oh my God, I am Were so you? happy that y'all found it. Keisha isn't the only one who left critical information behind. We found a copy of this man's driver's license, prescription lists, and information from pharmacies, including patient names, addresses, and medical histories. Identity theft expert Kevin Johnson says obtaining something as simple as this college loan bill that we found is like hitting a home run for identity thieves. It includes the student's name, address, and account number, plus a bill for $6,700. I could pretend to be that debt collector. Call her up. I have enough information here to call her. I can say, hey, I'm with ACT, you received a bill from us, we haven't heard back from you, you owe us almost $7,000, but if you pay it right now, we'll knock it down to $5,000, we'll settle for $5,000. Uh, do you have a credit card? And now you take the money. According to the Bureau of Justice Statistics, an identity theft occurs every two seconds somewhere in the country. Obtaining a government document like a driver's license is the most common target for thieves. A new study reveals the medical sector now has more identity theft than any industry. It's also the hardest identity theft to uncover because patients rarely review their status until they get sick. ID theft experts say with the information Keisha left behind, someone could assume her identity in a matter of hours. We can become her. So right now, I could fill out a request for credit cards as her. I can put in a change of address form so that all of her mail came to me so that she wouldn't even know right, that she was getting this stuff. It would just be things would stop coming to her mailbox. She'd have to go deal with that. Um, so yes, we could absolutely steal her identity. Johnson says don't leave any personal information in your car. After watching this story, now's probably a good time to go through your glove compartment or trunk and remove anything that might compromise your identification. Registration, insurance don't typically contain information that put you at risk for ID theft. Sarah Donchi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.